What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the DX Gamer Show. I'm Mike, aka Operation DX, and today I'm starting a new career in the latest version of Kerbal Space Program, essentially kind of testing the waters here. So I'm going to leave this kind of up to you guys if you want to see another Kerbal Space Program series. The last time I did one was version 0.22. That's when just the science was in here. This time we have all kinds of stuff we have to manage, like the money and all of that. And if you'd like to see a series of me doing this, then... I'm gonna kind of request, I guess, 200 likes on the video, um, just to kind of gauge to see where you guys are at. Uh, there are other popular uh, people doing this right now, or people that were on the media team that are running career modes on YouTube, and I don't know if you wanna see me doing the same thing or what, but I know Scott Manley is running a, a tutorial, essentially, for career mode, and I think a couple other guys are running some career mode stuff. So. Uh, you know, of course, I do things in my own flavor, my own flair kind of thing. You know how I roll. Uh, this mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. a essentially going to be just a vanilla series core game. No mods, anything like that. Uh, and I'm going to work my way through the tech tree and try to run a successful space program. I don't know how hard this is. I haven't played this game in quite some time. I haven't played any of this like career stuff and managing the money and popularity and all that stuff. So I don't know... How exactly that's going to go if I'm going to fail miserably or uh, if it's going to be something that I'm just going to breeze through just because I'm used to playing the game. I don't know. Just going to try it out here. But uh, totally up to you guys. We'll see what you guys think in the, uh, the like bar on this video and we'll go from there. What do you say? As per usual, I was yammering on while things were happening in the video and eventually I'll catch back up. So uh, when I was creating a new career, I was looking through the different options and looks like there was some pretty hardcore stuff going on in there. I opted to play career mode in uh, normal mode. I know that they added a new aerodynamics model to the game, which I haven't really flown any craft around in it, so I don't know really how it feels. So lots of crazy stuff has gone on. I know that they've added like um, something I've been like wanting in the game for like ever and ever and ever, which was a resource system. Um, but of course we had that through mods and stuff uh, and they were all really fantastic. I have no idea how the vanilla one works. <laughs> so that's something I'm gonna have to kind of figure out along the way. There's lots of new parts and stuff that I'm not uh, familiar with here. Um, I'm going to kind of do something that I did uh, in the science career, like it was, well, that, that's back, I guess, when it was just science mode, not really career mode, but just, you know, just drop a pod here and um, collect a little bit of science. This is an easy way to get a little bit of science, and I don't remember that the goo canisters were actually something that were immediate un immediately unlocked. I thought that was something you had to unlock in the tech tree, blah, 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 can't seem to talk right. Um, I thought that was something that you had to unlock after uh, like the first level or whatever. So you get those right away, so that gives you a little extra science. And then there's that little thing that uh, I didn't know existed, but I learned by watching a couple of Scott Manley's videos where you're kind of like just hovering above the ladder and it thinks you're flying, so uh, you can get a little extra science that way. Um, but I don't think this really counts towards the whole um, launching your first craft. So you may have noticed that I picked up a couple of the, um, the jobs, or I'm sorry, not jobs, the contracts. And that's essentially how we are going to make all our money in career. I think there is some um, milestones that you make that actually make you a little bit of money. I don't really know how all this works. I'm sure it's been balanced uh, a lot. Looks like there's a couple of versions past one, so... Yep. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look here. So I think I completed one of these, it appears, because it's in my archive. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up another one. It looks like I can only have two active at the same time. So let me go ahead and before I pick that one up, I'm just going to spend a little bit of the science that I got here. So looks like I can grab the uh, LVT-30 with that standard solid rocket booster and a fuel tank so we can go liquid. And then uh, decoupler, that's very helpful. So uh, I think we can get that first um, out of the atmosphere 
uh, contract out of the way, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that up real quick. And uh, we can't do the, well, I, technically I could do the orbital one if I wanted to leave my dude in space permanently because, again, uh, we have a new aerodynamics model and they've added uh, re-entry heat. That's something that uh, I really avoided because, uh, what was it, uh, the deadly re-entry mod? I never, ever, ever played with that. So this is all kind of new to me, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, I, I see I see disaster in my future as far as like re-entry uh, re -entry and stuff. So I'm going to kind of see how that goes. This could be a fun little thing to do. I don't know. Again, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to see if you want me to, to run a series. I haven't run a series in quite a long time. I've actually done a lot of like update videos and looks, which uh, I really enjoy doing those videos but you know i kind of miss doing the the series here and there so anyways the first craft i'm gonna build while the other the, the, technically the first craft i built there wasn't really anything special it was just something i could put on a launch pad to get a little bit of science but this guy is going to hopefully finish off the two um contracts or i think i just have that one contract uh to leave the atmosphere and come on back and uh, I am aware, I did play around with this a little bit, so I'm not going in completely blind. I'm aware that uh, the aircraft or the spacecraft tend to do this little weird flip at a certain altitude if you're going at a certain speed. So those control fins are something that's uh, pretty important. All right, so I think we're about ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and switch out to my pilot to Jebediah. Another thing that uh, is interesting is... Um, the pilots actually give you the ability to have SAS, uh, and if I could just put, like, say, one of the scientist guys in there, uh, you can't turn on the SAS without, like, a proper SAS module, so that's something to be mindful of. So um, we have two pilots available to us that we can do that, so I tend to like to use them more because I like to keep the SAS enabled to fly around. It makes it clearly a lot easier. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's nothing too special here. Just strapped out a bunch of fuel tanks, and we're going to just try to get up there in uh, just above the uh, atmosphere line. Um, and I don't want to be going too fast. Again, I, I was watching Scott Manley's videos, and um, uh, I saw how like it can be disastrous if uh, you go up and you're coming back down too fast. And what the crap is that going off the side of the screen? I don't know. This thing still has some like weird uh, altitude bugs in the game where like you hit a certain altitude and like crazy things happen. Um, but yeah, I can can definitely see the new aerodynamics model at work here, just kind of flying here. Now something they added to the game that um, I don't know if I like it. Like there's a little bit of a weird kind of sway back and forth as you're like flying even though your craft isn't technically moving there's this like little sway on the screen it always makes me think that my my craft is actually like moving off in the direction and it freaks me out every time and then another thing that I kind of don't like is when you get your uh, your Kerbal outside of your craft it does this weird like thing I'm not going to make that noise again, but it does that weird thing. And I don't like it at all. Uh, I wish they just kind of got out of the craft and we're sitting there on the side without all that uh, crazy stuff going on. All right. So I pretty much cut my engines here and I'm just trying to reach the border. Um, go ahead and open up one of my goo canisters and uh, collect a little bit of that science. Of course, that's going to be important for us to uh, continue our adventures. And I think after this, we'll get like a whole bunch of contracts. But um, I haven't technically decided on how long these episodes are going to go. I, I remember back when I did uh, earlier Kerbal Space Program videos, I made them like 30 minutes or 45 minutes or something crazy like that. I don't... I don't like to do that anymore. I like to like make my videos like maximum 15 minutes. So like I'm probably going to do cuts and edits and stuff to like clean it up. Uh, I'm sure you guys don't mind that. Maybe you do. Some some of you guys like those long beefy 30 minute videos, but uh I like to clean things up. So like if uh we hit a point where I need to speed the time up, I'll just do that in the video. Um I may do it using the um the time acceleration, of course, in Kerbal Space Program, because that's absolutely necessary in uh, many cases. 
but uh, all right, so I'm getting a ton of stuff here, breaking all kinds of speed records and that sort of thing, getting a little bit of cash, nothing substantial. Uh, and because I started off on normal, I started off with like 25,000, which isn't too much. I know I got to upgrade a couple of my buildings in order to be able to do my uh, EVA with my Kerbal. And uh, I probably could have gotten some extra science. I don't know. I probably could have done that for this flight. It doesn't matter. Uh, one thing is you're going to have to go easy on me with this series because uh, I'm really kind of behind on all the efficient ways to do, do things. They used to be like totally up to speed on like the best ways to do everything. So I'm totally going to mess up. I think that's part of the fun of it, though. So that's, that's the fun of Kerbal Space Program, watching your rockets blow up and watching miserable failures. So just to be on the safe side, I made sure to save just a little bit of Delta V to cut off the edge when I was coming back down into the atmosphere. I was going outside just a little bit hot, and I was worried that maybe I might, uh, you know, burn up a little bit. And because of the way the new aerodynamic system, I was worried that, like, I was going to start going face first and my command pod would uh, explode and I didn't want to lose all that stuff. Although it would have been funny if that would have happened. Um, I'm kind of glad that it didn't, and then uh, I'm just kind of cutting it close there with a the parachute, uh, deploying it right at the last second. Of course, it saves me from uh, doing some time acceleration. And you also notice that I intentionally tried to burn towards the ocean so I can get some of that uh, different biome science. And I keep trying to get my Kerbal to exit my craft, but I keep forgetting that I need to upgrade the building in order to do that. Um, and I know that uh, it's kind of difficult to do that first moon flight if you don't have your um, your flight uh, planning system all up and running. So I don't know. It, that's all. It's all gonna be interesting if, of course, uh, I run the series. And like I said, I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. Um, I'm asking for. 200 likes, which is fairly high for uh, one of my videos, but uh, if there's still a bunch of UKSP people out there and you want to see it, um, then I will do it. I promise I will bring this series to conclusion. I will finish the tech tree and all of that good stuff. I will make my best effort to complete this. Normally what would happen is because uh, you know I was playing around with mods or whatever in some other series, uh, I just got bored because I would lose interest because like there was stuff n there was nothing to do like there was no point in what I was doing so clearly I have stuff here to to do that keeps things interesting like um, you know earning science to unlock the stuff and then of course making money that we can keep doing missions and all of that good stuff Another reason I would kind of lose interest is because I would spend like three or four days like tweaking out all the mods and getting them all to work and you know making sure that KSP wouldn't crash because like all the memories being eaten up by like some certain mod and then all of a sudden bam another version drops on us and and nothing works and it's like so disheartening so like you know just kind of like made me give up. But uh, anyways, I need to pick up some critical science here for the next mission, which is uh, the re-entry mission, and that'll be for the next video. If you guys want to see it, uh, you'll have to let me know with the likes. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>